So you guys, I am recording vlogs and fiction. Uh, she put a Chilla Scam Part 1 out here. And I am going to be recording it for my evidence of defamation of character. Hey guys, it's Blogs and Fiction. Um, welcome to my channel. If you are not subscribed, make sure that you become a blog star by subscribing. Press that bell for always. And uh, thumbs up the live. I'm pretty sure, I mean, not live, I'm sorry. Thumbs up the video. I'm pretty sure on this video, I'll have some thumbs down. But I appreciate those too, because that's still interaction. And um, comment below. And if it's not a positive comment, it will be deleted. So, uh, first I want to say that I am only mentioning people's names that is relevant to this story. If you do not hear your name, that means you're not relevant to this story. Um, I've heard my name um, a few times from some content creators that I don't know who they are. They don't know who I am. So, just as much as you would appreciate me keeping your name out my mouth i appreciate it if you do the same so let's get into the whole <sighs> cello scam part one first i want to say that i really no matter what she thinks now i really cared for tasty i really loved her and um i wanted to look out for her because i felt bad for what she was going through you know i saw a whole nother channel bashing her and um i had offered to even pay for a lawyer if she wanted to do a cease and desist um and i you know i I was just there for her. So that's why I decided to look into this situation. I have done other things for Tasty to try to bring some closure to some of the things that was making her cry, that was just hurting her. And um, one of those things is I reached out to the real Maria Nuevas on Facebook. And uh, Maria did not want to talk to Tasty on the phone. She wanted to do a video call. So, um, Tasty did not want to do a video call on Facebook. She wanted to do it on Instagram. So I had pretty much played the middleman and gave that information to uh, Miss Nuevas. And um, the next day, her and Tasty did have a conversation. Miss um, Nuevas did not want to be recorded. She did not want to be on a panel. She did not want a video made like as far as um her sharing her story or she wanted to get the facts first and look into it um and i tried to bring some closure to that situation but it did seem like tasty was a little frustrated that i um, maybe she couldn't get clicks and views for it but I thought that she would just be happy. I'm like, what? you know, this is bringing you closure. So anyways, I tried to uh, work on this and look into this as much as I can and give her as much information as needed from, you know, different parts of, of the whole cello thing, from reaching out to the real Maria to um, looking into the cello situation. Um, you are going to hear that me and Nick are hackers, and I will explain that in part two. But um, for this situation, we did hire a private investigator, and uh, this private investigator is a good friend of ours, and he looked out for me and did this on his free time, and so I looked out for him by, you know, paying him for his services, even though he didn't require it. Um, I still, you know, wanted to look out for him. So anyways, the first conversation that we had as far as any information that I found out was the night that Tosh had gone live pretty much all day. Chella had been on Tasty's live and she got on her panel and explained that she didn't receive any money. She was crying, she was apologetic, and Tasty had pretty much forgave her and uh, said that, you know, we'll sweep this under the rug, I forgive you. 
and um, Tosh was on her live all day. So Tasty had that evening, because we talked just about every day, that evening she was like, you know, I got her shaking. She's been live all day. She's been live all day, and, you know, she's scared. And um, Tasty had it playing in the background, and I had it up on my laptop, and it was on mute on my end because I could hear what was going on from Tasty's end. And I said, you know, I got to call you back because my friend that was looking into this had called me. And I spoke with him, and he said, hey, you know, I got some information for you. And he had pretty much told me that um, there was $2,030 collected, and that $1,000 was sent to Texas. And um, that there was ATM withdrawals, and I'm not sure if... um, I'm not sure if the the, the $3 that was left over was because, you know, ATM fees or whatever. But then there was a purchase at a store called Fiesta. I had no idea what Fiesta was. If you would have asked me just by the name, I would have thought it was like some kind of party store. But I guess it's a grocery store. So I told him, thank you for the information. He said that he would look into it more uh, because it seemed like it was a two-day process that the money was transferred. Um, And just to clear this up, Tasha, I have never been in your bank account. I just want you to know that, okay? And um, he has not been in your bank account either. So anyways, I... called Tasty and I said listen I was like um, I got some information for you and um, pretty much that money was sent to a thousand dollars was sent to Texas and she hung up on me she called um, into Tasha's you know she called Tasha's phone and Tasha had muted the conversation. And then she ended her life. And I was like, huh. She didn't even hear everything that I had to say. And she hung up on me. Wow. Okay. And to me, I'm like, what's really going on? Like, why did you react that way? You know, pretty much. And she called us back after a while and she said I just gotta put it into this because this is gonna look really bad I'm not gonna be animated and start screaming and doing all the extra stuff but you know this is really gonna be bad for my channel this is really gonna be bad I'm I'm just putting it into this did did you pretty much like she said what city in Texas I said I don't know I don't know that yet you know and um she hung up again next thing you know tasty is on a panel with tosh because you know tasha's right hand man at the time was really frustrated about the muted call and had went to another platform and voiced her opinion and all of a sudden you know tasty is saying you know we squashed everything we're done and I'm like whoa what is going on you know I'm all for togetherness and I want people to make up and get along it was just you know why is this situation causing that to happen so later we talk and she's saying how you know that could have been Tasha's son that received that money because Tasha's son lived in Texas and um or a lady named Shamita I had no idea that um Tosh had a son which you know now I know that she 
doesn't. But uh, for those of you who were not on these live, Tosh does not have a son. And I had no idea that she didn't because I was told that she did. Um, and also that it could have been Shamita that Tosh worked together with Shamita. This was someone that Tasty had apparently did like collapse with in the past. I had no idea who Shamita was, okay? And so she was just explaining that she also lived in Texas and that, you know, she feels that Tosh and her work together for and Shamita has stole her van. So she felt at this point that maybe Shamita was the one who also received this money. So, just things just did not make a lot of sense of how uh, Tasty was acting and um, how frustrated she was. So, a lot of you may ask me why. Why are you coming forth now? And I'm going to tell you why. I walked away from Tasty two months ago, and I was fine. I was I was good, you know. Um, and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, I receive a Instagram message calling me and Nick hackers, um, liars, and just some nasty stuff that she said, and. I did call Tasty, and I'm like, Tasty, what are you talking about? And she just kept screaming at me, you hacker, you stop, stop calling me hacker, blogs, stop calling me. And she hung up on me. I did, I called her again, because I just was so, you know, this, it it had been just bothering me all day, and it was pretty late when I called, but I couldn't get any sleep that night, because I was like, really like oh my gosh what is this lady doing now I'm just so anxious and you know my anxiety is messing with me I can't sleep and so um pretty much the next day like it was some nasty joke she sends me uh, another message and she's like you trout mouth trick I was just playing with you and um, I was just like, that's just such a nasty thing because now I've been panicking all night and um, having panic attacks all night. And so I'm like, okay, Tasty, I left it alone. And the uh, second time she had called and this was like maybe a week later, and she had called me and she started saying that she was going to include my family in, in some things. And that made me panic for four days straight. And after that, it made me angry. And I said, this is the end, you know. So I was just going to tell my experience with Tasty of how she likes to blackmail. Um, but then when I had hopped on unspoken panel to talk to too strong and you hash things out with her I received a call saying that um, I was working with unspoken and that she was going to expose us bees so I figured that exposing would be telling what I knew about Chella. And so I decided that, okay, well, I'll tell myself. Because I have questions anyway. Um, also, let me slow down. Because I don't want to miss anything in part one. Hmm. Pretty much, Tasty made me promise that I would not look into it anymore. But I had already asked my friend and I had already paid him. And I'm getting my money's worth. So, guys, uh, 
it was a two-day process of when that money was sent out and um i will be telling you about the second part of the rest of the money i had questions as of where the money had went and i was told where it went and um i was told what city it was in I did not tell Tasty the second part because once I told her that I had looked into it again, she called me a liar. She was upset because I promised her that I wouldn't look into it. So there was a lot of information that she kind of, um, that she kind of played herself on. Anybody that I told this story about, I didn't want them to give Tasty any information or make, um, any or, you know, make any content about it or say anything. So I told them the same thing I told Tasty is that I did not know where the second amount went, but I do. And that will be covered in part two, guys. Some of you guys already heard most of part one because you were on D's live. Um, but for those who do not hear part one, um, this is part one and I will be making part two. And please allow me a day or two because you don't know how many times I have did retakes on this iPhone to record. <laughs> I haven't done this so many times, like last night, today, and so just give me some time. But guys, um, I just hope that we can all get to the bottom of this. You will also find out that the investigator friend is trying to work hand in hand with Google. I will be talking about that um, on part two. This is not over because now I'm seeing people get uh, blamed and accused when I know they had nothing to do with it. I reach out to my friend again and um, we are reaching out to Google. I also, um, I also will tell you why um, YouTube had reached out to my friend because, and I'll tell you that in part two. I'll tell you exactly why. And um, so this is it for part one, guys. I'm sorry if this is like, okay, we already heard that girl. But I just wanted to start from the beginning and cover what I did not in D's live. And also just um, for those who was not there. And um, I'll see you guys on part two. You guys have a blessed day. And... Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, you guys. That's it of her part one cello uh, scam. So I'm looking forward to the end. I'll be doing commentary on this. And also uh, releasing recordings um, in my defense. Uh, I appreciate these people. I appreciate them. They could never make me shake in my boots. I appreciate them for uh, doing what they're doing because it's deformation of character and they're also acknowledging roles that they played. Even though they're not telling the whole truth, they're still acknowledging that they played a role in hacking into somebody's bank account. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. This shit is from the Twilight Zone. This shit is from the Twilight Zone. They need to.